Hey guys, welcome to Life in a Bottle, season three, episode five. I'm Cody Foster, and this is the 2016 Chateau Muzar Rouge. Uh, the Cepage, the blend of the grapes, it's not published, but it's usually roughly one third Cabernet Sauvignon, one third Sanso, and one third Carignan. Where are we? We are in the Middle East. We are in Lebanon, and we are specifically in the Becca Valley. The wine itself is made two hours away in Gazir, um, and this has sometimes presented logistical challenges for this winery. Um, Lebanon is um, has a history of being war torn, um, and having a vineyard two hours away from the vineyard um, from the winery that is um, has sometimes made things interesting. Uh, but this family has uh, soldiered forward and continued to make this wine almost without interruption uh, since 1930, which is pretty crazy. So this estate is uh, this estate is is legendary. I've heard other sommeliers compare Chateau Muzar to Bordeaux, um, Southern Rhone, like a Chateau de Pop, um, and even to Lopez de Heredia, but. I find it's kind of almost an amalgamation of those things and really just its own utterly unique thing. It's, it's very singularly Chateau Muzar. Um, in fact, I remember it must have been five or six years ago, um, I was with a buddy, uh, Mark Ancona, at Fat Cat Wine Co. in uh, Norwalk, and I had blind tasted Mark on an older bottle of Chateau Muzar. Um, and Mark is a good taster, we'll say that. Um, but I blind tasted them on 1996 Chateau Muzar Rouge, and Mark had guessed that it was 1997 Chateau Muzar Rouge, um, which I think is not just a testament to Mark's tasting ability, but just how utterly unique these wines are. You stick your nose in the glass, um, and there's just the signature of Chateau Muzar. Um, it's so utterly unique. It's almost for me, um, bringing it back to Lopez Heredia. Uh, you, you put your nose in the glass and you, and you kind of know where you are. So there, there is a long history here. Um, the winery was founded in 1930 by Gaston Hokar. Um, he passed it on to his son, Serge Hokar, um, and the wines are now made by Mark Hokar. So this particular bottle of 2006 is an older release come straight from the winery, um, which is exciting for two reasons. Um, number one, it's been stored impeccably. This wine is in absolutely perfect condition. Um, whereas when you're getting Bordeaux, uh, the wine changes hands often. There are a lot of brokers, um, wholesalers, distributors. Um, the wine changes hands along the way. Shout to Muzar, goes right to the distributor and right to us. So pretty exciting. Um, not only that, but this wine, being from the Middle East, is tariff free. I like that. So, um, you should taste the wine. Um, it's beginning just to show a little bit of almost like a garnety kind of color in the glass. Um, it doesn't look particularly old, but it is showing just a little bit of age. Um, on the nose, uh, the first thing I get is uh, cherry liqueur. Um, there's also um, sort of an earthy, mushroomy sort of truffle thing. Definitely some forest floor um, and cigar box. Um, super complex. Um, since I poured this, first poured this 10 minutes ago, it just continues to unravel in the glass. Um, more mushrooms. Um, but there, there is a lot of fruit here and it's this cherry, very strong uh, cherry, black cherry sort of thing. Um, Um, on the palate, still lots of fruit here. And I will say, this is um, developing. This is beginning to show its age. Um, this definitely tastes like a wine that has spent some time in cellar um, and been cellared well. Um, there is tannin, um, but it's not, uh, it's not ripping tannin. It's a little bit softer, a little more velvety. Um, it's definitely uh, been tamed since this wine uh, was made in 2006. In fact, the reason this is coming to market now is because when it came time to release this vintage, the winery decided that it needed more time in cellar. Um, so they held it longer. 
Um, normally this wine would come to the market say five years after the vintage. Well, 2006, we're, um, quick math, 15 years later, um, and it is, uh, it's in a sweet spot right now. Um, but I don't think this is going anywhere anytime soon. I think it has a, a long life ahead of it. Um, Chateau Muzar, um, it's a little bit tough to, to judge the trajectory, but I would say at least 10 more years um, from today, 2021, um, this year. Um, so what to pair it with? Um, it's definitely good for meat. Um, I'm thinking lamb, um, lamb gyro, uh, lamb, lamb shawarma. Um, it's also um, it's also the perfect accompaniment for um, like almost like mixed grilled vegetables. Um, um, there you have it. Uh, Chateau Mousse are a personal favorite. Um, this is a wine to drink now and to hold on to um, for many years to come. Um, and I think based on how special this wine is, um, the price is really very reasonable. This is world class stuff um, from the only legendary state in Lebanon. Um, big thanks to the Hokar family. Um, this is truly magnificent juice. Cheers.